Hey guys, welcome to Tung Fungus. I'm your host Nico, and we're we'll doing another one. Uh, inking the page today, as promised. Brush and ink. Hello there! Welcome to Tongue Fungus again. I was pretty low before, but uh, it's your boys Nico and Matt from Tongue Fungus here. Go ahead and say hello, Matt Wah. Hello, Matt Wah. That was Matt Wah saying hello to himself. And um, as you guys can probably already see from the video and from the thumbnail, this right here is another inking video for our comic Fungus. From Tongue Fungus. of technique going on this is uh he's he's he, he already i don't know if you can see the outlines of the pencil but he is just inking over everything and and going into deeper detail with uh each character and each page <laughs> fun right now and um, the character right be right beside him is Bello who is their grandfather he's actually the character we just came up with while we were talking about actually expanding the storyline um, as you can see you know fun's actually pretty pretty ticked off by him they have a pretty funny relationship the two of them you know he's the more disliked grandson but uh, he kind of does it to himself sometimes <laughs>
just go behind the storyline. I know these guys might not look like mushrooms or anything, right? And you guys might be thinking they're weird because of their tongues and whatnot. Um, you can, why don't you go into deeper detail why their tongues are always out and how come their tongues ain't out right now? When I'm drawing out the characters, I find that it, I want their faces showed more emotion when their tongues weren't or covering their face. Their tongues will be out soon. However, the fun guys, I guess their people, they don't have to speak to each other through sound. Their feet are roots, basically, and they can ground themselves into the ground. That's one way of communication with one another. Also, it's through pheromones and uh, 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 things that they release naturally. Uh, they're able to communicate with each other. Um, but the whole story behind uh, Fun Gus is basically there's this world that's been, I don't know. I'd say destroyed and it's been quarantined and there's one park that it's been devoid of human life basically. it's been devoid of right. human life and it's just basically just the wildlife the fauna and flora have taken form and evolved in a way where they are now the life forms of that planet um, and when you and you'll get to see more like when you act when the comic actually comes out there's a character called Mrs. Green who's literally a walking piece of broccoli plays as their teacher so there's an actual page where you actually see their entire village there and um basically yeah there's a park called Verde Park you know Verde is Spanish for green well, it's Verde however you want to say it and um it takes place in Fairmont Park of Philadelphia that's where the basis of that is and that's where they live right now and it's kind of cool because their city kind of looks like it's covered by a snow globe type of thing and um, without getting into too much detail, because a lot of that will come up in the second book, if they go out, it's into a place called the Deadlands. And as you probably already know from what I'm saying, Fun and Gus will actually branch off into that within the second book. of course but it also is going uh the the place setting and and everything is going to take place in actual places uh and if you're a true philadelphian and, and and you know the areas of philadelphia then you're like hey i've been there or, so, or like i know that place which is cool is fun is the younger brother of Gus by one year um, fun his goals and aspirations is to be a stand-up comedian and uh, he is op op optimistic uh, not fully optimistic but he always sees the bright side of things and uh, he's just very naive like and gullible uh, when it comes to certain things um also he's not very patient he's more he's more the type to jump right into something and uh instead of on the other hand gus gus will probably think something out before he does anything fun's favorite food is uh garlic pickles and if nico didn't know that at least he knows that now and it's, and now that it's out there he can't go back on that um <laughs> Gus 
younger brother. Gus is the older brother by a year and a half from fun. He's um very disciplined character. He's actually he keeps to himself a lot, but um the one person that he cares about the most obviously is his little brother who he would jump out to defend against anything. However, they're differentiating here's Gus actually right here, I'm making him now. They're the great thing about these characters is they're very different dynamic personalities um, where you won't we try to make it that you're not stuck on one character you're always trying to figure out what the next one's thinking and we wanted them to be as different as possible that way it keeps everyone on their toes when they're reading the story or reading the book and going along with the story um, a little fun thing about Gus is he just like his grandfather he loves martial arts he likes to he likes to you know fight and do things like that he also one other fun fact which if anybody has read the strips we were doing Gus loves orange soda and almost most of the time you always saw him with the can like a bottle of orange soda in his hand Here's the other thing. I was working out the other day. And I forgot to shower. And I got a really bad rash between my legs right now. And I ain't got no ointment. Nor do I have health insurance to buy or oh, ointment. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what do you think you need health insurance to buy ointment? Because I can't afford ointment. Then go buy ointment just over the counter. I don't have over the counter ointment money. Do you have over the counter ointment money? You can buy, you this can buy. everybody loves Chris. I can't put Robotussin on it. What are you talking about, man? They have regular ointment you can buy just at the, right at Rite Aid for like five, six I need bucks. A specific type of ointment. I don't want to have your crotch rot on the video, man. Listen. I don't want to speak about between your legs. We're talking about a comic book. I need some butters and I need creams for the rash that's going on. It's a fire, son. You need to shower before you do certain I did. things. I just showered. 
just showered? I just showered. When you say the other day, you literally mean yesterday that you worked out? Yeah. Why did you shower up? You know what? We're going to close out. Um, Because I was tired. And thank I you for watching and listening. Please, as always, like, share, subscribe to our videos. If you want any updates, any type of news, any type of... You know, before the next person watches the, the next video, or if you want any information on us or anything, please hit that notification bell at the bottom. It's not that hard to see. It's you, it's hard to miss. It's a bell directly above the description. Um, it's a bell. Click on it. You know, you basically, you know, you get notifications. Make sure to subscribe, like I said before. And also, if you want to get the links to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what else we got? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of those things. If there's any other social media at the bottom. Tumblr. We have Tumblr. Tumblr. We have a Tumblr. There's we have a Tumblr. Thing. There's no more things. There's no more things. We're closing out. Let me break it. Hold on. We're, clo will, we're closing close out. out. I will close, close out. We're closing That's out. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get us paid, sucker. Oh. We're going to leave a link in the description below uh, listed of all the items that uh, Nico used to do this inking and do this drawing and whatnot. So uh, click on the link uh, and get it from there. It helps us out very much. Also, y'all stop being busters. Y'all stop being suckers. Y'all share. Y'all like our videos. Like, I'm not playing no games. I'm tired. Hold on. I'm tired of these people saying they're going to watch our videos. Tony. And they'll do it later. Tony. And then, and then they don't do it. Tony. You guys can probably see. Drawing a comic page is not easy. It's uh, a lot of work. A lot of, you know, work on the hands, but uh, it's worth it in the end with the product, though. With not the product, with the uh, outcome.